So this is how this works. Here's your stomach. And here's a small intestine, and there's your large intestine. And there's nine stomach busters, we call them. And they are coffee, regular tea, alcohol, sugar, chocolate, um, salt, preservatives, artificial sweeteners, and tobacco. And so those are the nine busters. And to add to that, we've got prescription drugs and things like aspirin and also stress. So those are the things that are the hardest on your stomach. And we know that, you know, too much coffee, yeah, your stomach's not going to feel well. Too much alcohol, your stomach's not going to feel well. Too much of any one of those things will make your stomach feel uncomfortable because it shocks it. And that's where your food allergies come from. And a food allergy specialist will tell you that it's always the protein in the food that your body reacts to. And why is your body reacting to a protein? Because you don't have the digestive enzyme to break it down. And so this is where this part starts. And the accumulation of proteins and fats and debris in the intestine starts to rot and ferment. Just like, you know, you have chicken dinner and you scrape the scraps into the garbage can, what's it smell like by the next day or two days later? And so you've got food that's been sitting in your colon for, in some case, years. It doesn't just totally empty out every day. It's just it doesn't how it works. And, you know, and people have little polyps and little bumps and stuff that, you know, pockets where it mass just sits there. So you, it needs to be clean. So, so now we've got the fermentation. We're absorbing up these chemicals. And the liver is an amazing machine because it's meant to take this this chemicals from this from this rot and also the chemicals that it, it, it picks up from our diet and from chemicals that are absorbed through the skin and it takes all that stuff and neutralizes it and turns it into bile and bile helps um, emulsify fat and it helps speed up transit time it helps break down the rest of your foods through here but what happens is that when the liver gets overloaded with too much toxicity that it starts setting the bile down where it's still live. It's hot, and hot bile then irritates the walls of your intestines. And so when the walls of the intestines are irritated, they produce mucus to push, to push away whatever's bothering them. And when you have mucus in your intestines, it gets slippery, and that's where diarrhea comes from. And so there'll be times where all of a sudden you find yourself with diarrhea, and it's like, ooh, I don't have the flu, but I've got diarrhea you know that your liver is upset about something. And as this progresses, it gets to the point where there's so much bile and it's so hot that it actually starts damaging the lining of your intestines. And this is where Crohn's and colitis and ileitis and spastic bowel and duodenum ulcers, and that's where these conditions come from. So now you're starting to circulate your own toxicity and it's becoming a bigger problem. Now, the bile is stored in your gallbladder here and with this toxic bile sitting in your gallbladder, it starts giving it a lot of problems. And a lot of people, especially women, will wind up taking their, getting their gallbladders taken out. And it's because of this poor digestion, toxic bile situation. Your pancreas is over here, and it's producing thousands of enzymes to help you break down your dead food in your diet, which is your basically food with no enzymes in it. So all your meat and your dairy type products, well-cooked products. Every time you eat that and your junk food, uh, coffee, anything like that, your pancreas is working flat out trying to help your body digest it. And so then it's working flat out and it, it just degenerates. It just it suffers from atrophy after a while. And so that's a, a big problem with, with that and just too much sugar in the diet, the, the pancreas is just overloaded. And this shows up as, as uh, diabetes and, and hypoglycemia. With a liver having a problem with all its, with its toxicity problems, it can only handle so much and after a while it starts letting toxicity slip into the bloodstream. And when this happens, you'll know it because you start experiencing things like headaches and you start experiencing aches and pains and arthritis and, and maybe a gout and also um, uh, skin problems like eczema and psoriasis. 
cysts and tumors where your body starts trying to find places to to stick the toxicity. It's like, where am I going to put it? It's not supposed to be here. I got to get rid of it somewhere. And so it starts sticking it in places. And so we start experiencing this. And then finally, as I mentioned, that the, the next major filter system is the lymph system, which is picking all this toxicity up. And the tail end of it is the spleen. And we know that the spleen is a cesspool of toxicity because if it, if it ever gets punctured, they have to take it out like now or it'll, it'll die. It's very, very toxic um, substances in, in the spleen. And your spleen's job, as I mentioned, is to tell the T cells what to do. And so a combination of, of toxicity that starts to spew past the spleen and it being it tells the T cells what to do, it starts ripping apart your nervous system. Your nervous system, muscular system. So your serious degenerative nerve diseases happen down here. And even your genetic code can be, be altered um, by this attack. And you know, I kind of joke by you know, thinking that our creator, when our body was created, gave us three filter systems, our liver, our kidneys, and our limb system, thinking that surely that will be enough. But we've managed to toxify our bodies enough by poor eating that uh, three filters wasn't enough. And so then we started experiencing a lot of damage down into here. And so this is where a lot of our problems come from. And so how do we fix it? You know, how do we turn this around? We, when you look at this, at this uh, scenario here, it's like, you know, can you add a ginseng capsule into that and expect big results? Can you, uh, it's like, okay, honey, we're switching the decaf, you know, is that going to do it? You know, is, is the vitamin pills going to do it? No, it is not because it's not going to the cause of the problem. We have to start fresh. We have to get the spleen working in order to get the nervous system working. To get that working, we have to go back up here and get the liver working. But to get the liver working, we have to get the digestive tract cleaned out. And to get that cleaned out and to keep it cleaned out, we have to get the digestive system working. And to get that system working, we have to get rid of the crap out of our diet that's causing so much problems with digestion. And so when I came across Sunrider years ago, I was amazed at, at the power of these foods and just what they could do for the human body. But it wasn't just what they were doing to the body. It's that they also have the ability to really help us get rid of the garbage out of our diet. So it's twofold. And the, the foods will hold, will hold their own. They're very, very nourishing and supportive. But for people who are still doing all their bad habits, they don't notice, of course, they're as good a result. But if you work at it together, it's amazing. And then the third element, which I'll get to in a few minutes, is where we start changing our diet also. And if you add in all three, health then becomes very predictable. But if we don't do those steps, then of course, illness is very predictable. And so the first step is where we add in Cali or Fortune Delight. And those are two uh, beverages. Cali is, it comes in a tea bag where you can just steep that in, in four to six cups of water. And Fortune Delight um, is a powder, it comes in a package, and you can sprinkle that into some hot or cold water. And they're both very, very nourishing to your body's cleansing system. Very, very good at nourishing the, and cleansing the liver. Uh, they're good for babies, they're good for everybody. You know, they're not like a cleansing tea per se, but they are very strong at nourishing your body's cleansing system. So you can drink them every day. There's no caffeine in them, but yet they give you energy. They help your body burn fat. They're just, I just, it's all I ever drink. They're just so good. High in antioxidants. And the next step is we add in a product called Sun Care. And that's in Canada, it's Sun Care. In the US, it's Sun Actor. And this is very nourishing to your adrenal system, to your pancreas, and it balances out your blood sugar. So when when you, for example, have something processed or, or, or some sugar or chocolate or, or even fruit and, and juice, like juice is very high in sugar, even unsweetened juice has, there's as much sugar in, in unsweetened juice as regular Coca-Cola. Because when it's been heated, it changes the context of the sugar to a pure, simple sugar. Give it to kids and watch what happens. You have to peel them off the ceiling. And so there's a lot of sugar there. And those type of sugars, they give you a lifespan of, of glucose in your bloodstream of about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you, you just drop because your pancreas produces insulin to tell the liver to trap that sugar 
and then it brings the blood sugar down, but there's no life span of the sugar in that product. So in other words, if you ate something like beans, you'd get a longer duration of blood sugar that would keep being produced from that food because it would take a while to digest. Now, this product here, the stevia and the chrysanthemum flower that's in Sun Care, the way it's bound up, it gives you four hours of blood sugar. I, I love it. It's, it's all I ever use. I use it in my cereal, I use it in my tea, I use it in everything. But I just don't use sugar and it just gives you this amazing blood sugar. And you'd be amazed of how that shows up as far as fat loss, as far as energy, as far as cravings. Um, it'll help you in so many levels. Um, the next product is New Plus. New Plus is about a a pound of organic fruits, vegetables, and grains per serving. There's 10 servings in, in, this, in this box here, same as these other two boxes I just showed you. And it's very, very nourishing. It's core nutrients. It's nutritionally dense foods. And it's very, very good to leave you satisfied for cravings, um, for building muscle, for burning fat. It's just, for me, it's, it's, it's the fuel that my body needs to do things. And a lot of other foods I eat are for taste because it's, it's just that good. And when you eat it, your body just goes, ah, oh, you know, this is so good. So I love my new plus and your body needs it to rebuild. Okay. Next is quinary and quinary is foods. That's like quin, like quintuplets. There's five formulas in there. There's 43 herbs that nourish the five systems in your body. It's like, I've never ever come across anything that's even close to quinary. It's very, very unique and very, very effective. And so I struggle with this digestive problem and I could eat Tums and Rolaids and different things, right? To keep the acid down, but it never lasted all that long. And when I started eating the quinary, I was very, very skeptical and the heartburn went away and it stayed away. And I eat quinary for two weeks and I thought I'm going to test this out. I'm going to quit eating it and the heartburn stayed gone. I was just like, wow. And so I started really getting this idea of feeding your systems and allowing them to strengthen and function on their own. That's what regeneration and what Sunrider is all about. We're not into taking pills and digestive enzymes and things to mask over the problem. We're going to the cause of the problem. And so quinary, the foods, the five foods that are in it are AD or, or assimilate in the U.S. for nourishing digestion and LS or life stream in the U.S. for nourishing the circulatory system. Conco for nourishing your respiratory system. Alpha-20 for nourishing your immune system. And PA or Primagain in the U.S. for nourishing your nervous system. And those are the five foods. And you can eat them every day. It's safe for babies. It's just the most amazing thing. It's like throw your vitamins and your stuff in the trash can and have a few uh, quinary every day and you'll nourish all your systems, keep them strong and allow them to, to function and communicate with each other. Like quinary does so many things.